In the next several videos, we'll be taking a look at the photo merge options. Now they're up here underneath the Enhance menu at the very bottom right down there. We have Photo Merge Group Shot, Photo Merge Faces, Scene Cleaner, Panorama, Exposure, and Style Match. Now what all of these do is it allows you to combine several pictures together into one picture and Photoshop Elements will automate a lot of that process by lining the pictures up. Now the first one, the group shot, is used where you're taking a group of people, picture of a group of people, and maybe you have a couple or three shots, somebody's blinking in one, somebody's blinking in a different one, and you want to get them all facing forward and not blinking, you can do that by combining those pictures together. I've simplified that down here to a couple of shots. This first one, this is, they're, they're a little bit different in position. There's a slight, you know, slight position shift. In this one, this little toy is facing off to his right. In this one, this toy is facing off to his right. So I wanted to have them all facing forward. In this shot, these two are good. In this shot, this one's good. So if I could combine those two pictures together, I would then have them all facing forward. And you can do that with this group shot. Let's take a look at that. Go to Enhance, Photo Merge, Group Shot. And Photoshop Elements is going to analyze the two pictures. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to align the layers together so that they line up properly. Okay, it's now done that. So we have now aligned that up. The next thing you do is you take the one you want to use as your original, and we'll use this one here, and drag it up right there. That's the final. So this will be our final shot. And then I want to take from the source. Click on your source picture. And it goes over here. So here's our final picture. Here's the source picture. And I'm going to tell Photoshop Elements to use this piece of this picture and put it over here on top of this one. You have a pencil tool here. You can change the size of this pencil tool. As you can see, you can go real small or you can go a lot larger. And then simply paint around your object. You don't have to fill in the middle. It will do that for you. But you just paint around the object. You can also erase to change the adjustment on that. So I'm just going to come in here and I'll just paint around this guy. Like that. Let go. Now Photoshop Elements is going to figure it out. There it is. It has now taken this piece and has pasted that on top of this original picture, cleaned things up, and we now have a nice shot there with all three of these guys facing forward. There's some advanced options down below here if you want to use these. We have an alignment tool to help align things exactly. You can blend the pixels if you want to. Just kind of smooths the edges out a little bit. When you're done, just click on Done. Now if the exposures are basically the same or very very similar it should make a perfect picture and there we go we can't really see any problems in there at all so let's just go back one here here is this shot there's that shot and then here's the combined shot with all three of these toys nicely facing forward as if I had taken it that way originally so there you go that's how to use that photo merge group shot thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.